Last uh, harvesting season, um, I went out and I saw the, 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 the women basically either uh, de-husking the, the jatropha with their hand or they put it on the soil and uh, hitting it with a stick to, uh, to get the grains out. And also the grains were getting dirty, which is not good when you want to extract oil. And uh, then one of the, the women said, you know, you do not have a, a technology for that or you have something to, to improve that. But then, you know, basically I, I, I got in contact with, uh, with the Fully Valley project and, and uh, uh, they, sh they showed me this, uh, this machine, you know, simple, simple but effective technology to uh, really reduce the time to de-husk the, the chatrofas. And at the same time, uh, you could use it also for peanuts and for shea butter for coffee, which are all important, well not coffee, but the other crops are important crops here in, uh, in Mali. Uh, that's why I thought, well, this is going to be an excellent solution. I mean, it can do about 250 kilos an hour, which is uh, basically, it can de-husk uh, one hectare, two, two tons of uh, jatrofa per day, which is, you know, extremely good because that saves a lot of time, a lot of labor, and uh, it really dramatically improves the quality of, our, of the product. So the three P's mean uh, people, planet, profit, and uh, Mali Bukam Run really wants to implement the three P's. So the first P, people, that is, uh, we, we really want to contribute to the well-being of, uh, of, uh, of, of the Malian people. First and for all, uh, farmers have being shareholders in our, uh, in our company, and so uh, whenever we make profit, they share in the profit. We buy the nuts, and uh, farmers can on average uh, collect about 25 kilos we have buy it at 50 cv per kilo so that gives him uh, or her an income of 1250 cvs per day which is basically 50 60 percent more than if they go out and you know uh, for hired labor for instance maximum they could get paid the 750 cvs so about uh, a euro 75 three well it says I don't know, with the dollar these days, two and a half, three dollars uh, a, a day. So that really gets them above the, uh, the poverty line of, uh, of a dollar a day. We do not promote monocropping, but we promote intercropping systems. And that uh, means that uh, we have a spacing of two by five meters of chatrofa, and then between the rows of five meters, there's space to grow the local food crops, because food security is very important. We have chosen to take the logic of really uh, integrating jatrofa in, uh, in, in farmers' cropping systems. We work with, uh, with the farmers and uh, when I asked them, I told them, you know, my shareholders, they are very keen on this aspect of food security. All farmers started laughing and I said, well, why are you laughing? And they said, what do you think? You think we are stupid? I mean, <laughs> food is more important. Jatrofa is a crop for the future. It may give uh, 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 the first grains after two years uh, full production in three years. What shall we do in the in the meantime? So you know, farmers here they're not stupid. I mean, they know what is important for them. We have the aspect of, of planet, the environment, which is very important. Here at this factory, there, there's no there's no waste. Everything is used. So we press the the oil seeds, uh, the oil we use to produce biodiesel. But the press cake is now uh, used uh, to mix with uh, with the soil. It improves the fertility of the soil and also improves the soil the structure. And so here you have the Chetrofa press cake, which has uh, a lot of good nutrients, NPK, about 7% N, 2% P, and 1% K. And so um, I put it outside now because it needs uh, rain, and so it starts uh, decomposing. And then after, uh, after about two weeks, we shall be using uh, this in a mixture of sand, soil, and uh, Chetrofa press cake. To, uh, to enrich, uh, to improve the fertility of our soils. We, uh, we have done some experiments in uh, Sikasso, and there it showed that if you uh, use Jatrofa as a living fence around uh, the, the, the fields to prevent erosion, and if you uh, mix now the soil with, uh, with this uh, uh, Jatrofa press cake, 
in uh, four, four years, five years time, you improve, improve yields with 25%. So that's quite, uh, quite significant. We are managing to uh, put up uh, last year almost 550,000 plants. This year we'll plant another one and a half million plants. Then the, the, the plant itself, the Jatrofa, it fixes the carbon. And Malibu Cameroon is the first company in Africa that really uh, manages to have a contract and we already have the first income from, from carbon credits. And 80% of that money is reinvested into productive, productive activities at farmer levels. And finally, of course, the biodiesel itself. It's a, clean, it's a, it's a cleaner fuel than, uh, than ordinary uh, fossil fuel. Um, the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, has done tests on, uh, on biodiesel. And so with very significant reductions on, um, on, the, uh, on the various emissions. Then finally, uh, an important part is, uh, is the profit side, because you know, any business, we, uh, we first and for all, we, we, we make profit. And uh, the biodiesel that we produce, we sell it at a lower price than the pump price. So that gives already a big, uh, big advantage. Then you have indirect income through the, the carbon credits. You have indirect income also through, uh, through the dividends. And so these are all elements that, uh, through which uh, farmers uh, can, uh, can improve their, their lives. So that's why we say people planet profit.